You know, it's devastating, heartbreaking. You know, all these guys, usually I'm not wrong about stuff like that, that I, I just see a good team in there. I see good guys. I see a, good hearts. I see guys at work. And I told them I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong about that stuff. And this team's going to win some games. We're getting better each week. Just sickening that you didn't win that thing. Uh, but like I told you, I, I'm, I'm not wrong about that. I'm not wrong about those guys in that room. And I told you, that, that, that's a heartbroken locker room, so we got to get them back. But they're good people in that locker room. You know, Tim, I don't always create the questions. I just ask them. Is Urban Meyer long for the NFL? No, I don't think Urban Meyer's wrong for the NFL. I think uh, Urban's a great coach. I think long, he's going to continue to. Long for the NFL. Long. Like, meaning, well, yeah, not wrong, long. Like, do you think he'll stay for a while? Yeah, I think he's going to be in the NFL for a little while. I think he really has a passion and a heart to be able to turn the culture and um, the the trajectory of the Jacksonville Jaguars program. I think he really feels an obligation to Shad Khan, the owner. I feel like he has a passion for it, um, for Jacksonville, for the fans, for this team. Um, when he gets into something, he, is, he goes all the way, and he's very passionate. And that can be a, an awesome strength, but it can also be a weakness. You see, one of the, the best things that, that Coach brings to the table is, is his passion. He is willing to suffer. He is willing to not sleep. He is willing to grind. He is willing to, to push people. But that also, in the NFL, you kind of got to taper that back a little bit. It is a long season. You're going to suffer some, some losses. You're going to suffer some um, heartbreaks. Every team is really good, and I think Coach is going to have to adapt a little bit because if he doesn't, I think it will affect his health, and I think it will affect his, his energy and his stamina. So, you know, my encouragement to him is, you know, still bring that passion, still bring that focus, still bring that intensity, but y you have to be able to compartmentalize it a little bit because if not, it will wear you down, it will wear you out. And, and I've gone through this many times with Coach and, you know, multiple times throughout his career, uh, his health has taken a turn for the worse because um, – he cares so much, and it weighs so much on him. And so I think personally for him, I think he's got to really balance it. But then also, it is a really, really tough league. And you got to know going in, there's going to be some games where you think you're going to win, and you just don't because that other team is really good as well. And so I think for him, personally, he's got to handle it. But then professionally, he'll, he will adapt because he's a great coach, and he's always done that. He's done that from Notre Dame, Bowling Green, Utah, Florida, Ohio State. He's continued to adapt. And so I think those are two things that he really has to focus on. Tim. You know, I'm not, I'm not joking around here when, when I say this, and I'm going to say this with all seriousness because I hear where you're coming from. But to me, everything you just said is why exactly I do not believe Urban Meyer is long for the NFL. And I want to state this, and I know that Urban Meyer has found himself in some tricky situations over the years. I have always, always been an incredible fan of Urban Meyer. Um, I think he is a sensational coach. And I think his record speaks for itself. Um, you have a football team. You want Urban Meyer as your coach. Y'all put me up on the screen, split screen speed because I want to see Tim Tebow when I'm saying all of this. And it, he, that's how special I think he is. But I want you to take back. I want you to scale it back a little bit, Tim Tebow, and reflect on last night. Just hear me out here. They lost a close <clears throat> game. The last three weeks, yeah. they have played very, very competitive football. They struggled the first week of the season against um, Houston, but against mm -hmm. Denver, Arizona, and Cincinnati, all good teams, potentially mm -hmm. all playoff teams. Yep. They've looked pretty competitive. I totally agree with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, DJ Chalk, I'm looking at, 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 at some of these guys in their running game. Right here, James Robinson, Carlos Hyde. Remember him when he was with 49. These brothers are running the football effectively, averaging five mm -hmm. yards a carry or more. You know, you see some of the pieces there. And... You come into the season, you've lost 19 straight. You lost 15 straight coming into the season. What the hell do you expect? So we all understand this except Urban Meyer. That's the great part about him, Tim, that he's going to work overtime and he's going to put it in. And he cares so much and you see it. But covering the NBA over the years the way that I've had, there's a couple of coaches that weren't long for the game because it hurt so much. To lose, it took so much out of them. I think yeah. what that was one of the things. Listen, remember when the Miami Heat won the title in 2006 when D. Wade led the way? That should have been Stan Van Gundy's team. But Stan Van Gundy had got let go, and Pat Riley had came in. 
And one of the reasons that Stan Van Gundy lost the job, it wasn't because of his basketball acumen, his know-how, what to do. It was so pressurized. He wore it on his sleeve. I mean, it was like, it was, it was heart-wrenching when he lost. Yep. And that's, uh, to a lesser degree, slightly maybe, that's Urban Meyer, man. And I watched him last day, and I was like this, Coach, it's game four of a season. Nobody's expecting you to win anyway. It's about getting better and better and better. Somebody like Larry Brown that I coached, that I covered in the NBA for years, Tim, Larry Brown's the kind of guy that could coach forever because he was all about the process and progress. He would have celebrated last night's performance. He wouldn't have been depressed and slamming on the podium and acting like he was just ready to drop because he lost a regular season game when you see that kind of progress. Yeah. But that's Urban Meyer, man. It is. I don't know, Tim. That, that, I, I it, don't know. It, it, is, it, it is Urban. And, and when you say him say, you know, that I'm heartbroken, that yes. is real. That's transparent. That's absolutely the way he feels. You know, I'm sure – you know, flying back, driving to his house, seeing his family, Miss Shelley. I'm sure he was devastated. You know, and that he takes it that personal. And I, so I, I totally agree with you, Stephen A. The one thing I would remind you of, though, is when you say that he might not last. He might not be around for a while. The other quality that he has, it's a crazy determination. Like, mm -hmm. he... He has a crazy determination. So while it might be hard, I think he's going to be very determined. I think he expected to win every single one of those games. I really expected, I, I believe he expected to be 3-1 and one right now or 4-0. Oh. And so it, he is taking that hard. But I also think that this dude is super resolute and he is determined. And I think he will continue to tweak and, and, and mold and change and, and get new guys in there and adapt and do whatever it takes because he is so determined. I don't yeah. think he would, I don't think he would quit without finding a way to, to turn the, the tide a little bit. I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. I hope you're right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he also took over a tough situation, even though they did get Trevor Lawrence, who now yes. is 31 and two in his collegiate and NFL career. How about that record? Yeah. And also I do want to mention one other loss, uh, DJ, Chark, they could be without him for the oh, rest yeah. of the season with that ankle. So that's yes, a huge yes. blow as well yeah. that they had to endure. They lost it. All right, gentlemen, let's keep it rolling. Yeah.